only the third day of September and I'm already in a sweater. Today's video is going to be my August favorites video. I cannot believe it's already September. I had to say that line because every guru in the world says it, so there you go. I'm really excited because it means that fall is coming. No fall isn't until mid-September, but in my mind it's already fall, and as you can see I've already started decorating for it and my voice just cracked. Okay. I also know that favorites videos can be boring to some people and I want to spice up my favorites for you guys. This video is sort of to kickstart the fall series on my channel. Basically, I'm just going to be sharing some things that I've been loving in August with you guys so you guys can like try to discover them in September and rock them in the fall time. Whether it's like random favorites like songs and movies and books or stuff like beauty products, I want to like share them with you guys and I want you guys to be genuinely like excited to look forward to my videos and I promise that this season that is going to happen. I only have a couple beauty favorites and I will try to get through it as quickly as possible. There's only like two, three products. So then we can get on to the fun stuff like TV shows and music. Okay, so we're gonna start off with makeup and I have some lip products for you guys because I love lip products, you guys know that. Don't worry, they're not dark colors because it's not fall yet. I've been obsessed with them so much and as you can see, they're kind of like similar um, colors. They're basically like this mauve pink. It's like nude with a pop of color. So you can wear it as like an everyday everyday color and if you don't like rocking really really dark lips in the fall time since fall is coming up you can definitely wear these both drugstore products so the first product I have to show you guys is by NYX and it is their soft matte lip creams and this one is in cons or cans it's not really nude but it has a tone of pink in it I've worn it in the past couple videos of mine it has a sponge applicator tip when you open it and then you just apply it onto your lips and it comes out so smooth and it just glides onto your lips because it's a cream it's not too matte where it dries your lips out plus it smells like like cupcakes. I'm just like obsessed with the formulation of these and this product in general gets a 5 out of 5 for me so definitely check it out. They have a ton of colors. Next product I have is another matte product and I don't know what it is with me and mattes right now but I've just been loving them and this one is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Bombs and I've done a review on these. I will link it down below if you want an in-depth review and swatch. I didn't have a nude color like this so when I saw this in the store I automatically like grabbed it. You just twist it and apply it and again it's really like soft and it glides onto your lips and then it dries down to almost a like a matte finish. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I really do like how it looks so if you like how it looks then definitely check it out. These are awesome because you can just toss them in your bag and put them on whenever you want to. There is a wide color range in these too. Third makeup product is this palette right here which is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Look it looks like a chocolate bar. It's so cute. It looks like this when you open it and I'm completely like in love with it especially this green color right here. Shadows are made out of cocoa powder. This thing smells heavenly. Like every time I'm applying my makeup on I'm like oh my gosh I want a cupcake. So I've just been like wanting to switch up palettes because I've been using my Lorac one a lot. So I have this one laying around so I started using it and I think it's perfect. I'm wearing it right now for like a really really nude eye look and I really do like it. So if you want to look into a palette but you don't want to get like the hyped up naked palettes or anything like that then maybe check out Too Faced palettes. Love Too Faced. I think it's like the cutest makeup brand. My next favorite is a body wash from Bath & Body Works. <laughs> Because it wouldn't be a favorites video if you didn't include a Bath & Body Works product in it. So this one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. As you can tell, I'm very excited for the fall time. Like pumpkin, you'll like this. It's kind of like a sweet pumpkin scent. Love the packaging. I think it's so cute. My next favorite is a scent. And it is this Viva La Juicy Perfume by Juicy Couture. And can we just have a um, appreciation moment for how beautiful this packaging looks? It has like a bow on it and a crystal top and a little J and Couture sign on it and in gold in embellishment of the juicy symbol on the bottle. I got this as a present from my best friend for my birthday and I've been loving this a lot this month. I also got like the mini spray of this in the tube with the little bow on it and it's so durable and I've been basically carrying that scent with me all throughout me traveling this whole summer and in August so it's always in my bag. It does settle onto your skin and it settles into your clothes so I really do like it. My next favorite is this right here. It is a curling wand. It's like one and a half inch. I ordered this online from Flat Iron Experts. I am 
in love with this. Anything were to be my holy grail favorite in this video, it would be this. If you've seen my NYC haul video, if you liked my hair in that, I used this to kind of like loosely curl my hair and give it soft, long waves. And I've never felt more happier in my life because I did not know how to work my hair with my previous curler. It's so easy to use and easy to handle and it gives like the prettiest and smoothest, softest curls ever. When I received this, like I received it in such nice packaging. It came with a glove so I don't burn myself and I also received this thermal shine protectant. I used it on my hair and my hair has been like more glossy and pretty. I don't know if you guys could tell at the beginning of this video probably. So I really just adore this product a lot and I want you guys to check it out. I will put the site down in the description box below. They have a ton of different hot tools like straighteners and they have smaller curling wands if you guys don't want one that's this big and they just have a ton of different variety and I completely am in love with the product and satisfied with it. If you want to check it out along with different straighteners and like sizes of different curling wands then I will put that in the description box below. So now on to the random favorites. So I have two book favorites of the month but I only have one with me unfortunately but one of my book favorites is Divergent by Veronica. Monica Roth. It's a dystopian novel that takes place in Chicago. So it's kind of like The Hunger Games and The Maze Runner, but not really like it. I'm pretty sure you guys know what Divergent is, so check out the series. I'm so excited to get my hands on the next couple books and read them. This book favorite is not with me but it is The Giver by Lois Lowry and you guys know that the movie came out. Both the book The Giver and the movie The Giver are my favorites. The book is just another dystopian novel and I have found a lot of comparisons between The Giver and Divergent. The book and the film are a huge favorites of mine for this month so definitely check them out. And another movie favorite of mine like I said is Divergent. I finally got to watch it in August. I love the movie. I think it was exactly like the book and I'm excited for the next movie to come out so if you guys want to watch that in theaters then get to reading unless you don't care but you should probably read it. My favorite TV show of the month is Finding Carter and also Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is coming to an end. Um, the season 4 finale for Teen Wolf is in a couple days so that's coming to an end and I'm, so, like, I'm sad for that but obviously Teen Wolf is always a summer favorite show of mine and a favorite show in general of mine. It comes on MTV I'm pretty sure you guys know about it but my my really like highlight favorite show of the month has been Finding Carter. I just started watching. It's another MTV show and it's about a girl who finds out that her mom is not really her mom. Her mom is actually her kidnapper. So um, she gets to finally meet her real parents. The main character Carter is attached to her kidnapper who she still calls her mom. The show is basically about Carter's um, new life with her real parents and she has a twin sister and a brother and then all of their friends in that community and you know it's basically about adjusting to that and it's a really really good show. Like it hooked me from the first episode. Okay so my favorite songs of the month. I have a lot of favorite songs but I'm gonna kind of cut it down for you guys. The first favorite song I have is Fire and Gold by B. Miller or Bia Miller. I don't know how to pronounce her first name. But I've been obsessed with the song. Um, I will put all of my song favorites in the description box down below if you guys want to give it a listen. My next favorite song is Life of the Party by Shawn Mendes. I've been obsessed with it recently. I know I'm a little late on the bandwagon, but it's such a good song. My third favorite song of the month is... Um, Chandelier by Sia. I don't know why. I've just been listening to it ever since Selena Gomez posted um, her Instagram video. And then my last favorite song of the month has been Break Your Heart Right Back by Ariana Grande featuring Childish, uh, featuring Childish Gambino. I've just been obsessed with that song a lot and I like the melody. It's kind of like fun. Okay guys, so those were all my favorite songs of the month and last but not least, I have a favorite like food slash drink item of the month. I don't have it with me to show you guys. It's currently in the trash because I finished it, but uh, my favorite drink of the month is pumpkin iced coffee from Dunkin Donuts. I've been drinking it a lot. I'm not really a fan of coffee, but I have to drink it to keep me up and if I had to choose a flavor, I chose pumpkin and I ended up liking it. So that has been a favorite of mine. If you have Dunkin Donuts near you, go try it out. Stop the Starbucks phase, you guys. And if you have a Dunkin near you, go try Dunkin too because they have pretty awesome drinks as well. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me. What are you? No? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me for this favorites video. And I hope you guys are all having a splendid 
day and I hope you have an amazing September and I can't wait to share it with you because my fall videos are officially starting. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the fall time and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! I got one last, one last